The fact is that Pakistan has a vested interest in protecting Masood Azhar, which is why he can hide in plain sight, just like Osama bin Laden did in Abbottabad. Masood Azhar's safe house is in Bahawalpur. That's in the Punjab province of Pakistan. He lives inside Jamia Masjid Subhanallah. That's his address. It's a mosque. It is along Pakistan's National Highway 5. It is minutes away from Pakistani Military Academy. This complex itself is believed to be spread across three acres. Reports say that it has several modern facilities, including a state-of-the-art gymnasium and a swimming pool. An F-6 fighter plane is on public display, barely a kilometer away from Masood Azhar's safe house. Just eight kilometers away is the Bahawalpur cantonment. It is home to Pakistan's 31 Corps. This is a unit of the Pakistani army that reportedly has around 30,000 troops. Masood Azhar was born in Bahawalpur. This is his hometown. When the Jaish-e Mohammed was proscribed by the United Nations in 2002, Masood Azhar started a trust to raise funds for his terror activities. And reports say that he used the very same money to build the state-of-the-art, the state-of-the-art state safe house. Some other reports suggest that a secret nuclear facility of Pakistan is also quite close to Masood Azhar's fortress. Now let's tell you about what's behind those walls. This complex is used to recruit and train terrorists. Recently, the Pakistan government claimed that it has taken control of this compound, but there's nothing to show that it has curbed the activities of the Jaish-e Mohammed. Are they there to crack down or are they there to secure Masood Azhar and his outfit? It is well known that Masood Azhar enjoys the support of the Pakistani military and the security establishment. Experts believe that the resurgence of Masood Azhar would not have been possible without the aid and support of the Pakistani army and the ISI.